Hello guys, welcome back to the channel once again. In this episode, I'll be talking about two most important players. You know, one being Kudus Muhammad. There's been an update on Kudus Muhammad at Ayas. And also, I'll be talking also about Ghana's prospect, that's a Dinketia, awarded by England for under 21 record. You know, he has a record with England under 21. I'll be telling you more about the stories and also give you some other stories that you need to know from this uh very channel this is bedu news tv my name is still remain kofi i think i think i want kindly subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell you select all and also you like this very video kindly let me know how you think about it in Katia being a uh, ghanaian prospect and uh also being awarded by england and uh do you think uh ghana should continue to chase it in Katia so that you play for ghana or you should let him be or oh, or oh, she still carry him push him push his body yeah. so let me start from a dinkete before i move on to blasters midfielder and also striker that is uh kudus Mawai. you know ghanian uh forward a dinkete has been uh presented with a golden boot for being england and a 21 all-time uh scorer you know top scorer the england-born ghanian brooke allen sheres and also uh francis jesses long record okay that is of 13 goals after scoring against Turkey in 2020 you now he went on to set a uh, record with 16 goals in 17 uh, games for the young three lions you know uh, in getting international uh, feature has been heavily debated in the media as Ghana Football Association tried to persuade uh, him to switch allegiance to play for ghana you know before we went to the world cup even before we play against nigeria he and uh, also terry Langte were players that ghana football was pushing hard so that they would be playing for ghana but terry Langte decided to come but in ketia decided to challenge just uh, hang around you know so uh this is what in ketia said when he was when he received the, the award he said wow i'm grateful for the award and to everyone at the fa i loved uh, my time being there with the under 21s and working with the boys in training I improved so much so that is what Inketia said now he continued to say that I'm very grateful and hopeful there are more achievements to come in the future so Inketia is still he hasn't decided on the future that's why he's saying that uh the, he hoped to uh, get more achievement in the future so maybe 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 the guy will stick with uh the three lions and make sure that he play for them or let's see what uh, he will do okay you know english fa representative that's uh, michael johnson said on behalf of the fa gar sadgig and uh also the technical director john mcdermott i just want to say a massive congratulations to you to break alan sheriff's and also uh franny jesus uh, record is not a little thing so this is small token to show that you are now the all-time uh goal scoring record holder for england under 21 it's a massive achievement and also totally deserved so yeah i didn't get it deserved this is very very massive achievement it's not easy to break alan sheriff's a record so that you know, it's not easy to be you no know, black guy to be celebrated by the white so, that, so it's good to see Edin Ketia being awarded the, the golden boot for being the all-time top scorer for England uh, under 21 team with the fantastic goals he scored okay so now let me shift the attention from Eddie uh in Ketia and also talk about another uh, beautiful player very good player that is uh Kudus Muhammad let me give you the update from him okay so he's uh doing very very well you know black stars midfielder Kudus Muhammad has resumed training after recovering from short illness the 22 year old reportedly suffered from a flu that affected Ayas camp missing the last two games Kudus was absent in the uh one one draw against uh, Nick Ningen before me, uh, missing the uh, nap cup clash against uh, Dean Botch. Okay, however, the Ghanaian international is expected to be available for a division match against FC uh, 20 on Saturday. Okay, so the former FC Nordland 
star has been the backbone for the, the LDVC champion, that's Ayaz, and also for his country side, that is uh, Ghana. Okay, now finishing the first half of the season as the club top scorer with 10 goals across all competition. Now, Ayaz missed uh, the Ghanaian midfielder during the game against uh, Nick, and his return is expected to hand them the boost needed to challenge for the title. You know, meanwhile, some big clubs in Europe are showing interest in the midfielder with Borussia Dortmund Liverpool said to price him away from Ayas. You know, El Tang Hang of Manchester United is reportedly interested in bringing Kudus Mohamed to England also to play for Manchester United. So, uh, Kudus is back after you know getting some sickness, more fluid. You know, he is back and he's good and he is uh in to play for the that's Ayas and probably move on and play in order all that game. No, probably you play all other games. Okay, so that is uh the story I have for you from the let me give you some uh, fixtures that is coming up in the english premier league and uh, also some other you know uh, god willing you no know, least united will, will travel to villa park to play against aston villa on that is uh, friday evening 8 p.m okay 8 p.m ghana time okay then from there let me give you saturday and sunday uh, games okay no saturday manchester united will play against manchester city that will be saturday uh 14th okay and uh also brighton whole fabium will play against liverpool uh, and also everton will play against rampton Nottingham forest will play against leicester city wolves will play against West Ham United, Bradford will play against uh, Bournemouth. Then Sunday, Crystal Palace will travel to uh, Stamford Bridge to play against Chelsea. Then Newcastle United will play against Fulham. Then Tottenham Hotspurs will also play against Arsenal. That will be on Sunday for you. So that's the fixtures for English Premier League. You know, also let me give you the uh, Spanish La Liga, Spanish La Liga on Friday evening 8 p.m. You no, know, Santa Vigo will play against Vela Real. Then now uh, they go to Saturday La Liga, Saturday uh, Red Valladolid will play against Red Valacano. Uh, Gerona will play against Sevilla. Osasuna will play against Malaga. Then Real Sociedad will play against Atletico. Bilbao. Don't forget that a Sunday the Air Classico is on. That will, will be a Spanish Super Cup final between Real Madrid and also LC Barcelona. So, hey, Barcelona will play against Real Madrid that is Spanish Super Cup. This is Betty News TV. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Let's meet another time. Bye bye for now.